Hello everyone, welcome back for another ASMR Geography video. And today it's Scotland's Day. We're gonna study, discover Scotland and of course the best known fact about each administrative region. There are quite a lot of them, I think. Glasgow City. 
is North Lanarkshire. Lanarkshire. All right, let's move in. We have this region here. Let's draw the contour in the frame. So we have North Lanarkshire.
use them to his advantage by making each clan into a Scottish regiment of the British army. Right. We have the city of Inbounds. Good. Now let's move next. We gonna return to Upperton. Upperton, but not Upperton Shire, to the Upperton City. Upperton City. Which is right here. Upperton City and Upperton City Council or Upperton. Well, Upperton is home to the Scotland's oldest bridge, the Brig Old Balquani, that dates from the wars of Scottish independence. Old Balcovny, Old Balcovny, you may know Upperton for its grand granite, nicknamed the Silver City, and the Granite City. Or perhaps you know that Upperton is the oil capital of Europe. Oil capital of Europe. Good. Time to move next. Alright, um, we have here the West Lothian. West Lothian. We 
city of Perth here. Yeah. Once upon a time, Perth was the capital of Scotland and a picturesque playing ground for kings and queens. So, Perth was the capital of Scotland. Alright. Time to move a little bit down. and Galloway, Dumfries and Galloway, this region. the fact that the Irvine Valley was known for its specialized industry. Good. Um, it was my mistake, so I read from the wrong. The North Shire is part of the modern Irvine contains the oldest inhabited village in Europe. It's Drag Home. Drag Home. Okay. Now, let's move next to Angus, Angus. So, Angus is right here. Let's draw the contour. We have the city of Fola. All right. Angus is marketed as the birthplace of Scotland. The signing, the signing of the declaration of abroad at abroad. Abbey in 1320 marked Scotland's establishment as 
was an independent nation. Very interesting facts, right? Cool. Alright, now let's move next. The next region is somehow very interesting, but it has an interesting name. There are the Scottish borders. Scottish borders, let's try. Alright. Alright. 
one of the Scotland's world famous whisky regions and it's known for its local distilleries and breathtaking scenery. So we have whisky here. I cannot write whisky, but it's VH whisky. Alright, now next. Again, it's a very small console. And it's East Ravenshire, East Renfrewshire, or Renfrewshire. Oh, it's very hard me to pronounce those very Scottish names. Renfrewshire. All right, in this era. Vegetables cultivation are the main agricultural activities. The urbanized northern area developed during rapid expansion of the cotton textile industry. It was in the early 19th century, so it was part of the big industrialization revolution. Perfect. Now. We're gonna move to Stirling, Stirling. Yeah. Stirling. Let's draw the contour. Alright. Well, Stirling. Its famous landmark commemorates the life of the patriot and martyr Sir Sir William Wallace. Situated on the Abbey Craig, just outside Starling, in on the National Wallace Monument. All right, it's the only fact I found about Starling. Starling. The next one. Midlothian, Midlothian. Okay, so let's draw the contour of Midlothian. Okay, and now the fact the remains of the prehistoric forts are found on the several hilltops in the historic count of Midlothian. And also some Roman settlements have been identified at Inverask and Cremon. Right, and now we're going to talk about Western Bartonshire. Yeah, Western Bartonshire. And Western Bartonshire has many strengths, including significant sites of natural beauty and heritage. And close proximity to Glasgow and its airport. Perfect. Okay. And now a bigger region or council. We have the Argyll and Butte. Argyll and Butte. At least I have some outline to draw. Archland Butte, Kilmartin Valley in 
Okay, we have some prehistoric cairns. Cairns. All right. Next, it's Inverclyde. Yeah, the small area. Let's move to the bigger picture. Inverclyde. Uh, administrative regions, but my god. 
Scott, Scotland's looks so mysterious and interesting in the same time. I think I want to visit Scotland, especially for the whiskey. 